So after that, if you want to read any of the configuration space details, you can use this function called PCI read configuration. What do you want Hello. to read? Yeah. Yeah, Please. this thing. Go to the code uh, on line 30. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So on line 30, what is this address? 0x42. Because we above this we have is, given uh, the... I am there if I'm, I was just explaining, right? You can get the configuration. Here I'm getting the revision details. If you see this configuration space, right? I will just show you. Wait. If you see this configuration space, where is the revision ID available in this? This one. You remember there's a revision ID here. I'm reading this revision ID. Once I enable the device, as you can see here. Okay. Okay. So like this, you can read whatever you want. Okay. So that is what I was just explaining. If you see this, right, there are a lot of calls to read different part. You can read byte, you can read word, you can read D word. It depends what you want. Okay. For example, if you are trying to read this uh, device ID, right, I have to use word because I'm reading two bytes. If I'm reading revision ID, I have to use byte because I'm reading one byte. If I'm using class code, I should use double word because I'm reading more than word. Okay. So then after that, similarly, if I'm reading barred read details, right, I have to use double word because I'll be reading more than you will be reading around four bytes. Okay. So these are all the functions that is available to read and write the configuration. If you want, you can write. And if you want, you can read at any point of time. Okay. So in this particular code, what I'm doing is I'm reading only the revision ID, nothing else. I'm just reading a revision ID and I'm printing that this is the revision ID and I would come back. So like this, there will be a macro to read a lot of information. Okay. So I will just show you that. Just to give me a second. Yeah. These are all the parameters what you can do. Re revision ID, class revision, class program, class device. Okay. So then after that, you can also read the status if you want. Okay. The vendor ID if you want, you can read. Okay. PCA device ID, PCA command, PCA status. PCA class program, PCA class device, PCA cache line size. Okay. So these are all the things what we would be reading in this particular scenario. As you can check this out. Yeah. So okay. this is very important. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Clear. Clear. Yeah. 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 So you can read this. So like this, you can read whatever you want. Okay. So, but you have to use the corresponding functions to read whatever you want. Okay. Either you can read any of the things. So in my example, if you see, you know, I've just read something and I've got it. Yeah. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me try to. Okay. Um, I think I don't have anything. What I would do is uh, we can connect to any of the device and read the details. Okay. So let me do one thing. Yellow uh, PCI. I will try to connect with something. Okay. So what I will do is I will connect my driver with this SATA drive and do the actions. Okay. So let me try to use for my SATA, but uh, am I using any SATA controller? I don't think so. Mm, let me take USB controller because if something happens, it happens to the USB. So it will not have any real effect. Okay. So now what I would do is to get the details, uh, it's nothing but 0300. Okay. So I want to get the address details. Yeah. So I will get a details. This is nothing but 1580075. So let me try to do some modifications to this so I can read this. Okay. So I have to make the vendor ID in this case. In this, the PCA vendor ID is different. So I will make a copy of this. I'll copy this. Sorry, not this. Yeah. So in this, I would give one phi AD as the vendor AD. So it is zero X one five AD. And for this, it is seven seven zero seven seven. Nine. This is what I will do. Okay. So one five eighty 
seven seven zero seven 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 nine. This is the kind of details I would get in this particular case scenario. Okay. So this is what I would get a zero x if you see here, right? Just give me a second. Yeah. Zero x one five AD and zero seven seven zero seven 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 nine is what I would fetch in this scenario. One five AD and zero seven seven nine. Okay. So this is what I would get in this case. Okay. So now let me compile this and do it. But before that, I have to disassociate the driver. For this, what I would do is I will find what driver is associated to that. LS PCI minus BBB. If I look at it, the driver that is associated with this is HXCI HCD. Okay. So what I will do is sudo um, pro um, pro minus R HXCI minus HCD. I will just remove it. Module is built in. Oh, I can't remove it. It's not a module. Huh? Okay, let me remove PCI. Okay, so now if I do this again, yeah, so now it is a remote actually. Wait, let me remove it again. So now it is removed and it is not connected. Now what I will do is I will compile my program and I will try to associate with the moment I insert the program. No, your PC, our PC will try to attach to it. Okay. So now what I will do is before that, let me clear sudo d message minus c. Let me clear it. It has deregistered. So now what I would do is I will go to my driver. I think this is not the one. Just give me a second. That one that will be right. Yeah. So I'll go to this PCIE subsystem. I'll just confirm if it is the same thing. Yeah. Perfect. It's the same thing. I will do make. The sudo in small PCI one dot zero. D message sudo D message. If you see here, see here, it's already started. Probe has been triggered because the probe got called because it found a match and the revision ID is reading it is zero. The revision ID whatever it got is zero at this particular point. Okay. So now if I do sudo ls PCI minus V V V if you look at it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, if you see here, see the PCI skeleton, whatever I ran. If you see here, this is a PCI skeleton. Yeah. This particular driver is PCI skeleton, and that got associated with this particular point, as you can check out here. Okay. So, this driver is using this particular device and i can do any access with this and get all the details so i can get whatever i want in this case no i'm just reading if you look at here no i'm reading only the uh, configuration details okay i can also read a revision id and vendor id and i can get the details for example let me read the vendor id in the configuration space i will read the vendor id and then if you see here if i want to read the vendor id it will not be by it actually okay so it will be U16 VID U16 PID. Okay. So let me try to get the vendor ID now. So this is one I have to use telling that get this vendor ID. So let me get the vendor ID. Ah, sorry. Mm, this let me get it. Copy. 
enter ID, so VID, and this is VID. This is enter ID. Okay, now I can get even the device ID. Device ID. ID. device id so i am reading the vendor id and device id this should not be by it it should be word okay so now this is as per this thing so i am reading word okay not the d word i am reading the word in this particular scenario okay so now if I want to read the bar address, okay. So now I will tell you 32 bar zero. Let me read the bar zero address. So let me see what it is exposing. Currently it is exposing only reach and zero bar zero. Okay, so I will get the bar zero details in this particular scenario. Okay, so then what I will do is, I'll try to do even the bar zero also. But in this case, I have to use read D word. Okay. Then I have to use a macro to read the bar register. This is the one. Yeah. So I will try to read the bar zero address if you look at here. Yeah. Now, if you come back here to the thing, I will read the bar address zero. And I'll read as bar zero. Bar zero. Bar zero, I will read. So this is what I will read. So D bar, dev, PC address, base address zero, bar zero. Then I will read a bar zero. Then here also I will read a bar zero. This is how we would be doing as you can check out here. Okay. So if you see here, we will read a revision details, we will read a vendor ID, we will read a PID, and we will read a bar zero, as you can see in this particular scenario. Okay. So now we will take this example and then let me remove this. So you do remove more PCI one. Okay. So then let me do a make of this and then let me insert this PCIe device. Then let us look at the space. See here it is inserted, and if you look at the D message, right? So do D message here. I'm reading a vendor ID the zero. I'm sorry, this is the revision ID zero. Then I'm reading a vendor ID. So vendor ID is five five four nine. Okay. So device ID is one five one three. Okay, so now if you look at it, I think I printed, I didn't print an hexadecimal, I printed a decimal. Okay, so now if you take the cal C and if you calculate it, oh, sorry, not this one. Yeah, if you take a calculator, programming. So it is five five four nine. Yeah, there is nothing but one five eighty. Okay, so that is nothing but your configuration details one five eighty. Okay, then after that you have one more details here which we have read that is nothing but your one nine one three. So if you clear it. And if you take one nine one three, there is decimal, it is nothing but zero seven seven nine. See here, zero seven seven nine. Okay, so that is what you are getting, and you are also getting the bar address here. Okay, so in this case, I'm getting a decimal bar address. So if I calculate the decimal uh, minus, I have to do uh, if I take zero minus four. Six one three seven three four zero. 
if I do this, okay, so this is the kind of details what I'm getting. Now, if I want to represent this in this hexadecimals here, it is nothing but 2B FFFF, something has come up, okay. So now if you look at the configuration space, yeah. So we have to calculate it, but actually if you see, you no, know, it has given some details. So I think we have to calculate it properly. Four, six, one, three, seven, three, four, zero. I think it has come as two B F F F F C. I think we have to calculate still further down the line. Okay. So this is the address it has come up, but we have to I have to take a 64 bit. This is 32 bit now. It's coming something like FD4000. That is what we are getting here. Okay. So this is something which we have to get as an address, and the size of this is 128k. Okay. So like this, you can read all the details and do whatever actions you want. Okay. So once you have a memory mapped subsystem, you have to do one more actions, but this is something what we'll be doing at a very high level. Okay. So got till this point, did people get it actually? How to read the configuration space? This is how we can read a configuration space at any point of time. Okay. But do before doing that, you have to call this PC enabled device. If this PC enabled device is not called, no, then you, you will not be able to do many PCI transactions. Yeah. Yes, we can have them. Yeah. So now that is one thing. And after that, I will just show you some more. This is about how you can do the PCI configuration. Okay. Then after that, if you want to get the address, memory region address, you can tell resource start, which bar region you want to get the address. And resource end, for that bar, what is the end address? You can get the start address and you can get the end address. Okay. So for example, similarly, you can also get flags if there is any flags associated with that resource right you can get an resource flags if you want the resource flag will be something like this actually if it is an resources of type io if the resources of type mem if the resources of type prefetch if the resources of type read only okay